Yo, what's up guys? So today I have for you a, uh, a skeleton, a Dytron template, I, I would say, uh, for you to consider if you were to play Dytron post uh, Lightning Overload or Overdrive. I forgot which one it's called, but um, I'm live on Twitch right now uh, with my Twitch community, and um, I do a lot of this stuff. Um, if you guys want to check me out at twitch.tv slash pack underscore official underscore TCG. Um, and I like to talk about the new sets that come out, and I'm doing that right now for the rest of this week. But the first one that I'm going to be talking about is Dytrons. I'm also going to show um, Amazements as well. Um, and some of the, the builds that I have going around. But I decided to show you guys a, a nice template. And what I think is pretty going to be standard going forward for the deck building. It will change as people evolve and, and make this deck better, etc. But here's what I currently have for the template. And I'll explain the, the card choices and all that good stuff. So and don't so uh, there's a couple of cards I put in here that you may or may not play. Um, so it depends on some of the flex spots you have. But it's going to be Triple Diviner. I think it's one of the you know the, the new cards that's coming, coming out. Uh, it's very, very strong. Uh, if you guys are not familiar with what this card does, is it can send any fair from your deck or extract to the graveyard. Increase this card's level by the level of the sent monster until the end of the turn. And when it's tributed, you can special summon any level 2 or lower fairy monster from your from your hand or deck except itself. Um, very, very strong. You can send Herald, make it a level 6. Herald can search you either a spell, which is Meteonis, or searches you Ben 10. So, uh, it's a really, very strong card. Um, I think, I mean, there's it's a no brainer. The. the the reason why this card is so um, great is because it has synergy with Ava. A Ava before searches us, um, if you guys weren't um, playing at the time, Ava would search us um, this uh, fairy monster. I forgot what it's called, but it's a level 2 fairy monster that searches us Ben 10. Well, let me just look it up for you guys. So it's Cyber, Cyber Petite Angel, I believe. Cyber Petite... So yeah, before we were playing one Cyber Petite Angel because it was a normal summon that searches Ben 10 and Ava searches you it. But now, what's crazy is the reason why we're playing two Ava is because Ava is now a starter. Um, Ava like can also be a normal summon that lets you make um, Mew Beta Fafnir. Um, Ava searches you Diviner for the follow-up and searches you Orange Light. Um, so it's just a very, very crazy card. We played two because of Beatrice. The combo that I'm focusing my build around, which is the Beatrice line, lets you basically send B uh, Ava on your turn and send Ava on your opponent's turn. Um, so it's very, very good. Uh, the cool thing about playing the Beatrice line is like you can tech in any card you want, um, such as like even Floodgates, really. Um, and you can easily make cards like Nightmare Griffin um, to like set anything you want. Um, you can play cards like uh, Ariel. Uh, if you're playing the Mirror Match, you can like literally Beatrice and Ariel and banish their entire graveyard. Um, so Beatrice, I mean, it's a no brainer, right? Like one of the best XYZ six that we have, or rank six that we have. Because it literally can send any card from your deck to the graveyard. You can also send, um, you know, Ava twice. Once on your turn, once on your opponent's turn. So it's just, like, very versatile. I, I like it um, a lot. Um, keep in mind, this is a skeleton, guys. This is not, like, the end-all, be-all of the deck, all right? So I'm just giving you guys some good card choices and what the decks can look like. And you can adjust and build it to uh, your liking. Um, if you guys want an actual deck profile, let me know in the comment section below. Um, and I'll try to get that to you guys. Um... So right here we have Diviner, uh, Hero of the Orange Light because it's a hand trap. It works really well with Ava. Um, it's usually the card you want to search so that even if you get Dark Ruler, um, you can like orange like pitch um, a fairy and negate stuff even under Dark Ruler. So um, next we have uh, Double Ava. Like I already explained, you send it twice. That's why you need two. Uh, one Ben 10, one Ultimate Nis. This is basically if you play the fairy route. If you want to play the fairy route, you play these two. Uh, and in terms of the ratio, it's going to be triple alpha, triple zeta. Nothing's really changed from that. Uh, I prefer one delta. Um, if you're playing prosperity, I think you there's an argument to cut the delta. But uh, right now, I think one and one is fine. Uh, there's also an argument to play a second gamma. That's why I have it in the side here for you guys to consider. Um, because it's a card that can um, help you make the XYZ really easily. So... Uh, that's something to consider as well. It's one of the best grind game cards, and that's the reason why I think you should be playing two Fafni, and I'll explain that um, afterwards. Um, two Field Spell, because I think the math lines up really well with Nova. It can also search through the Meteonis in case you don't have av uh, access to Zeta. So that's also, like, fine. Um, uh, triple Emergency, I think that's pretty standard. Triple Nova, that's pretty standard. Nova's one of the best cards to play around Droll. Uh, uh, Meteonis, it can discard it actually, weirdly enough, can be played as a two of, um, at, because of this card. So, this is something definitely you can look into playing as a two of because of Fafnir's effect. It's not once per turn, 
um, to so like for example, it says right here, if you were to tribute summon a monster for a ritual summon, you can detach materials instead. Yeah, that effect is not like um, that. That's not like an activated effect, and it's not like once per turn. It just happens. Like you just detach once you resolve the spell, which is like insane. Um, so I really really like it. <clears throat> Uh, next is the debate between Triple Prosperity or Triple Prep. Uh, you can decide. Uh, you can also play both in a deck. Um, but the Prosperity engine is very good uh, because it gives you more room for tech cards if you cut the prep. Um, and then the prep is really good because you can search you the Megalith cards and adds you back the Medionis so you can keep uh, you know, banking plays. Um, there's that. The Megalith engine is also played because Fool becomes a level 6. Um, by adding back Ben 10 and you overlay the Ben 10 with the D Diviner to make Beatrice and that's certainly how that you play the combo line. Uh, and then you can play the Fool, the Old Field, the Beth Thor, so you have synergy as well to like pop cards. Um, so if you work the combo line, you'll find out that you really cannot make Beth Thor because you're going to be overlaying the Fool, so you have Fool um, at the end of your combo. Um, but uh, Megalith Fool is still like a really good card. Usually people are going to be playing Double Fool, Old Field, and that's it. They don't play the Beth Thor. They might side the Beth Thor. Um, that's something to consider as well. And you have four slots right here. Seven slots if you don't consider prep. <clears throat> if this deck becomes really popular, you're going to see stuff like, you know, draw in the main deck, right? Like the tech cards are going to be like the hand traps, really. If you decide not to play prep, you have like four more spots um, for like uh, Dark Ruler, Droplets, any sorts of that, right? Last card can be cards like Upstart, Call by the Grave, probably, um, to play around Droll. So you can't really play Gamma for Joel because if you Gamma, uh, if you guys don't remember, you're not able to use your Diatron effects. So you can't really play um, Gamma, like Cyframe Gamma. But this is probably like a list that you would see that I would expect just quickly building the deck um, for post uh, Lighting Overdrive. So um, definitely, definitely be on the lookout. This is a skeleton for you guys. Uh, try out the combos, work with it. Um, but I'm going to show you guys like the, the combo right now um, and just show you guys like what it's capable of with just alpha zeta so let's do that real quick so what you're going to do here is you're going to go uh, alpha zeta so we're going to go alpha tribute zeta uh, that's going to search you ben 10 of course the one and only you're then going to tribute the ben 10 for zeta and you're going to uh, search medionis um, and then Ben 10, of course, is going to trigger, and that's going to search you uh, Diviner. You're going to normal summon the Diviner um, and use its effect. You're going to send uh, the Herald of the Arc Light and use its effect to search you uh, Megalith Fool. Um, <clears throat> so now it's a level 6. You can uh, overlay these two to uh, make uh, Fafnir and then use its effect to send the Gamma. And then you can activate uh, Medionis, uh, detach, uh, detach from Fafnir, summon the full, use full effect to add you the Ben 10 to your hand. Uh, from here, you can use uh, full effect, uh, tribute the Ben 10 uh, to summon an Ophiel, and Ben 10 and Ophiel will trigger. So Ben 10 will search you this. Ophiel will search you usually another full. Uh, I just have Bethor as an example. Uh, then you can overlay uh, Diviner plus Fool to make your Beatrice right here. Um, from here, you're going to use Medionis to detach, uh, target the Fafnir. And like I said before, the really cool play is that even though this is at 1,000 attack, it doesn't matter because you can detach for material um, and then summon this right here. Uh, then you can activate the effect of Beatrice. to detach. You have to pitch the Diviner because you're going to be sending Ava. You're then going to use Ava to banish your uh, Diviner and your Herald of Arclight to search you um, Orange and another Diviner. Uh, and then from here, you're going to usually convert the Mew Fafnir. Um, so you would actually do... One second, guys. So you would actually go uh, Fafnir plus Ophiel into a IP Masquerina. So assume this is IP. And then you can go Gamma Tribute the Bethor that you added off Ophiel to summon Gamma in itself. And then you can make like uh, Gamma and Alpha to make the Herald of Mirage Lights. Sorry, guys, if this is kind of confusing, but that's generally the combo line. I'm doing this on the spot right now from uh, from memory. So, uh, But that's generally it. So you pass your opponent's turn. You have IP, and you have Herald Mirage Lights. Uh, you have Beatrice detached, sending another Ava. And then from here, you can actually just banish um, another um, 
Ava. Um, and you can banish the Ben 10, actually. Or you can just wait to, like, pitch a Diviner and then banish that. Um, so you have four four negates. If you get Dark Rulered, uh, you still have uh, two... You still have orange, double orange diviner, um, and you have IP mirage light. So they out the mirage light. You add back like uh, Meteonis and add back a ritual monster from the grave. So it's just a very oppressive board, actually, like, for a two card combo. Um, but there's multiple ways to enter this, and if you have more cards, you can do even more. And like I said, there's cool cards you can do with um, uh, with uh, with uh, Griffin as well, because Beatrice can dump you any floodgate, and then you can just Griffin send whatever you need. I'm sorry, Beatrice send whatever you need and Griffin it back. And you generally have enough ways to get end on Griffin, ultimateness, um, plus Beatrice, um, which is like insane, guys. So something to consider. Hey, what's up, guys? So I wanted to show you guys a combo with this deck and what this is capable of. So let me walk you through um, the line. I, I did a random test hand. This is all live on stream. So go check me out at twitch.tv slash pack underscore TCG uh, underscore official underscore TCG. Uh, you can watch the VOD there and see that I literally did this live. I did any random test hand. But um, this is basically Alpha Zeta plus uh, uh, an extender in some form. We even drew the Medionis, which is funny. But uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go Alpha Tribute Zeta Okay, search Ben 10, then go Zeta, tribute Ben 10, uh, uh, and then Ben 10 effect, search Diviner, and then Diviner effect, send uh, Herald, uh, Herald effect, search Fool. So that's what, that was the line there, guys. And then we're going to go make uh, Fafnir. Fafnir effect is going to send you the Gamma. Uh, then you're going to activate Meteonis, detach a material from Fafnir, summon back, uh, summon the Fool, actually. Uh, then use uh, Fool effect to tribute the Ben 10 from the hand, summoning the Ophiol. You go Chain Link 1 Ophiol, Chain Link 2 Ben 10, and then you go... Ben 10 searches you the ultimateness. Ophiel searches you the uh, extra fool in your deck. And then you can go Medionis, target Fafnir, add it back to your hand. Um, activate the Medionis again. Detach another material, summon ultimateness. Uh, from here, you're going to overlay fool and the uh, Diviner into a Beatrice. Use Beatrice effect to send you the IO. Uh, link these two into a IP Mascarena. Uh, from there, you're going to tribute the fool from your hand for Gamma. Gamma is going to summon itself and summon you a Zeta. You're going to link the, the, all of them off into Griffin. I put my zone placement wrong for ultimateness, but that should be here. And let's say we didn't draw the droplet. We can just pitch the Ava. In. And, of course, you set the IO, and then Ava searches you uh, two more interruptions um, for the Diviner. Obviously, you would just pitch droplet, and you would have three negates uh, with follow-up. Um, and if they can't kill you, you kill them next turn right away, right? So... Uh, that's pretty much a, a cool combo. Uh, this deck is very, very strong. Definitely be um, ready to uh, beat it. Um, it's going to be one of the new decks that's coming back. Um, so I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this profile, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.